Alright, back with more Mega Man Maker. Today we will be playing through Reactivated Sawmill, uh, created by Rafa Tank. Um, they're in place on a score of negative one. And let's see here the stage ID 297956. 297956. Oh, I must have gotten the wrong. 965 297 Yeah, I must have gotten the wrong ID from you there, Rafa Tank, because I. Yeah, nah. I had to search your stage by name. <laughs> but yeah. There we have there we are. We finally got it. Um <clears throat> we finally got it. So yeah, this is a another entry for the Mega Man uh, contest that is coming up. Let me just check my software. Yeah. Everything is nice. Everything is working, I should say. Um, I did see this on the forums, and it, lo <coughs> it looked uh, quite nice, you know, just judging from the uh, from the visuals of it. And yeah, supposedly it is a Cutman, you know, Cutman stage uh, reimagined here. So yeah, I really like the Cutman stage from Mega Man One. It's one of um, one, uh, one of my favorite stages from that game. Um, you know, it's uh, on the easier side, and it's also um, a really pretty stage. I just really like the visual uh, aspect of this stage there. And yeah, so it will be nice to go through a Cutman rendition here. Oh wow, dude, that was scary. <laughs> wow, dude, that was a tight jump. We have quite a few weapons. Who kills <laughs> Who kills Elec Man, Fireman, Bomb Man, and Iceman before going to Cutman? <laughs> you will have to be a god at the game, you know. Especially doing cut uh Elec Man, you know, without uh, the cut power. <laughs> yeah. I can't do it, so. <laughs> there you are. Oh wow. Oh yes, <clears throat> there are some very tight jumps here. Some very very tight jumps. Luckily, I am a god at Mega Man, so you know. <laughs> I say it, so I just get torn into pieces. Die. <clears throat> but yeah, that me minus or negative one uh, score probably came from those very tight jumps back there, if you ask me. But you can freeze these, um, which is nice, and you can also punch them, and yeah, the fireworks as well. I'm not sure about the thunder. The thunder should kill them. Yeah, they kill them, spine enemies in Mega Man 1, so yeah, that's so I figured. Even though it doesn't feel like it should destroy them, or whatever. But yeah, the, the stage is pretty, and for the most part, what I can see, it has some pretty good enemy placement as well, so I probably would say that the only thing that made you know, if I were to guess, the, the negative one uh, score that probably came from those very tight jumps back there, you know, where you bonk your head, uh, is probably my best guess. Um, if you still have time to change that before the contest, um, before the submissions close, um, you might want to consider that, Rafa Tank, um, because it would be a shame to lose out. Uh, <laughs> it would be a shame to lose out just because a couple of jumps were frustrating to deal with. And let's try and do this without killing everything. Oh, close! Man, I thought I had that. Oh. And yeah, apparently those uh, things here, those springs here, are supposed to be the, you know, little um, houses or whatever. Those little buildings, you know, that dispense those rolling cutters, you know, in the stage, they come flying out at you. So those uh, little contraptions there are supposed to kind of mimic that. And I don't know how I got through that without getting it, that was just <laughs> pure luck. Hmm. And here we have a spy. Yeah, I don't know, like, I don't know if you wanted, like, um, a mini review here of sorts, but like, I feel like these spikes doesn't necessarily need to be here. Like it just makes it so that potentially it could send you back a couple screens. Um, same here with these spikes. I'm not sure they really <laughs> need to be here, but yeah, I don't know. 
Yeah. Jeez Louise. Oh yeah, you know what? Let's just do this the coward's way. Walk out on the very last pixel and then jump. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to do this the boost way. Yeah, this is very difficult to do the intended way. And I would get sent quite far back if I did not pull those jumps off, yeah. Like, visually, I think that this has been a pretty cool looking level. Um, I would say just... Um, I would say the stage could benefit from um, toning down the difficulty with all the instant deaths, though. I think that would be a, a wise thing to do. Unless you really want to keep it mercilessly hard here. Okay. Oh, what? Wow, that was cool. <laughs> I thought that would be impossible, but somehow I did it. <laughs> yeah, and yeah, you know, like jumps like these, like they aren't really, like, really all that fun to pull off. Like all you really do is like carefully inch your way up, jump, and like there is nothing really, you know. They don't flu. They aren't very fluid to pull off. It just kind of is there, you know. And it's just more tedious than fun, I feel like. Um, so that probably is another thing that you might want to consider um, to uh, remove. Let's see here. Yeah, there are a lot of spike jumps and a lot of these tricky jumps here. It's way harder than the <laughs> original Mega Man 1 level. Uh, way harder. Yeah. This kind of reminds me of Elec Man, you know, when you have to jump. Um, without bunking your head, you know, at the very start. It's a little bit reminiscent of that, in a way. But yeah, I died there, so... <laughs> like, that wasn't obvious. <laughs> so we would have to go back. And yeah, the other PM isn't half bad at taking out those guys there. Okay, now we get to try this again. Uh, yeah, that's really cool. <laughs> I thought I would avoid him and I just stood rightly beneath him. Ugh, like a chump. Like a freaking chump. Okay. Oops. Okay, what? Oh, they are scooting on over! Oh, what the hell? I did not notice that first. <laughs> they are slowly going over to the left. Yeah, you know what, let's just decimate these things. And do this the coward's way. <laughs> I don't really care. We go quite far back if I die, and I don't want to go back. Yeah, more of these really tricky jumps here. Yeah. I think it is fine to have a few of them, but... They are almost everywhere. Yeah. Like most people don't enjoy this type of difficulty. Um, I am, I would say I'm a little bit more skilled than the average player. So to me, it isn't all that bad. To me, this is kind of like, you know, a hard stage, sure. But it's not like, it's not so hard that I give up in frustration. Um, it's nowhere near that hard. Um, but yeah. If I were to say, you know, give the controller to my brother, like if he was over, he would he would not want to finish this stage, I can almost guarantee it. <laughs> it would just be too hard. Uh, I feel like this is not a casual level, uh, casual level by any mean, by any means. It is definitely for more experienced players. And yeah, that is pretty neat too, how you can... Oh, you're supposed to go over here and shoot him, but yeah, you could also just do what I just did there and take care of him from underneath there. So you have a couple different ways to tackle this room. Other than that, this room also looks really cool, you know, layout-wise. I feel like a lot of rooms in your stage, Rafa Tank, looks quite unique. It's just... It's just very difficult. <laughs> it is just very difficult. 
yeah, you have to time that right there, you know, position yourself right so that it doesn't uh, shoot you off the ladders there. Mm -hmm. That was also a neat room. Yeah, <clears throat> once again here, like, uh, if I am to be a little harsh here again, like, oops, those kind of challenges aren't really all that fun, you know, to pull up. You just kind of, you know, slowly inch your way up, do a small little jump and, you know, rinse repeat. It's nothing really, you know, <laughs> there's nothing really groundbreaking <laughs> about it. <laughs> and, you know, if you die, you go far back. So you, I would definitely take those kind of things out too. <clears throat> I think it will hurt the stage more than it helps it. You know, it is a beautiful stage. Uh, I would rather have it be a little bit easier so that more people can enjoy it. I think that would have been cool. Okay, so let's just drop, hold the jump button, and I did not see the spikes. <laughs> My bad, I should have just held to the right there. Jeez. So this stage is pretty long too. Ah, oh, wait, come on. There you go. There we go. And... Alright. Oh, wait, I wanna try it again. <laughs> I wanna try it again. Oh, come on, dude. Do it properly. <laughs> I can. Arr, come on, man. I can. I can. Oh, no. Oh, close. That, that one is pretty tricky. I have to admit. Oh, yes. Yeah, and more of these tricky drops. Oh, man. Another one. Oh, my God. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah, this stage is definitely very hard. Yeah, I'm just going to take a few hits here. You know what? We can probably just do that instead. That is probably the way to do it, to be honest. Okay. Nice. That was close. This here reminds me of Cutman though, uh, Cutman stage, that particular segment is kind of reminiscent. Ow, okay. Oh. <laughs> now I'm just poorly this, poorly this time, this very poorly. I, I really want that, okay, thank you. Unfortunately, I did not refill my Elec feed there, but yeah, I can live with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, you know what? Let me do this with the keyboard. I don't wanna die here. It's easier to do this with the keyboard than with the Xbox controller, I feel like. Okay. I damage boosted there accidentally anyways, so. <laughs> and jeez, how long is this stage? Ah, oh, man, I should have held the jump on a little bit longer. Dang. Hmm. Yeah, <laughs> thank god, it refilled the electric beam. Okay, and yeah, this too, very nice looking screen. Mm -hmm. And, oh, dude, I am not dying at this point. I am definitely freezing him. <laughs> okay, actually, nope. <laughs> No such luck. And yeah, if I die now, I go back so far. I have to really concentrate. Hmm. This is a neat boss entrance. With the cutter blades up there. And thankfully I have a checkpoint there. That would have been really cruel if, uh, if we did not have the checkpoint. <laughs> okay, and we have a slightly harder cutman than in the original game, I guess. With the ladders here to help him. Um, he gets a quite a fun pattern since he can fall through them sometimes. Uh, but yeah, it's not the first time I fight him in a room with ladders. 
But yeah, they kind of make him easier in a way, and also harder in another. Um, of course, like, if we just had him here on a playing field, you know, you just have to run towards him and he will just jump over you. Now at least, you know, he has some irregularities, but you also can keep him away from you, you know, just by going above him. And, geez, that wasn't good. and yeah, I tried to run forward there, you know. <laughs> but yeah, um, <clears throat> now that I am at full health, I should probably be able to beat him unless I really mess up, you know. Unless I really mess up. Dang it! Timed it poorly. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did not want to hold on to that. <laughs> yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Ah, I mistimed it. Oh, wow. Yeah. If this was just a flat room, it would be very easy not to just run under and uh, you know shoot him in the back so yeah actually the ladders probably makes him more more harder than easier now that i <laughs> think about it <laughs> i take back my previous statement okay please can we do this yeah good we got him so yeah, um, what can you say about this level? Um, um, it's very pretty looking stage. Um, nice visuals. We have a few parts here and there that reminds me of Cutman's level. Uh, personally, I would have liked to see this level be a little bit shorter. Uh, around perhaps I think 30 more, 20 to 30 screens I think would have been more fitting. Um, perhaps um, the custom gimmick there was neat with the spine enemies. Some of them were really hard to pull off, but when you pull them off, it feels really good. And that was nice. Let's go above this one while we're at it. Um, but yeah, visually and the, uh, layout uh, of the rooms, you know, were, I felt like most rooms were very well made, you know, they felt unique. Um, but there also were a lot of rooms with those very nasty spike placements. I think that if you want to I mean, it's fine the way it is. Uh, more experienced players can uh, enjoy this stage, but if you want as broad audience as possible to be able to like this level, I would uh, suggest or I would consider um, to trim down a lot of the spike uh, sections, you know, make them much more scarce and, you know, perhaps make the roof or, you know, yeah, the roof part uh, at some parts of the level, you know, make it higher up so that you don't bonk your head and you know so, stuff like that um, if you want as many po people as possible to be able to love this stage but yeah for more experienced players it's a fine stage you know with some uh, pretty looking rooms to go through for casual people um, you know this stage has had a negative one and that more than likely is because you know there are a lot of screens between each checkpoint and a lot of spikes to get through so yeah I think that for the casual players this is too hard um, it's just not going to be fun for them for experienced players you know we have something to dig into so yeah it, it, it depends um, to me it was a good level um, if you want to slightly trim down the difficulty so that casuals can get into it easier I think it would have a uh, I think it would have a greater chance of winning the contest um, but yeah so yeah cool stage uh, definitely worth your th thumbs up Nice looking rooms, and nice custom gimmick, a little bit on the harder side and you know a lot of those tricky jumps and some uh, parts you know where you just had to kind of slowly edge, your, you know, crawl up to the edge of a platform you know before you took a jump. Uh, so yeah, more for the most part it's a very strong level I would say, definitely, definitely a strong level. So yeah, uh, I've just stopped prattling now. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it at that. Uh, thank you guys for watching and have a nice day.